Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and today I'm going to fix a little problem with my entrance door here. So we've been having a lot of huge rain and wind storms and the rain kind of pelts us from this side and every once in a while if the wind was just right and got heavy rain I was noticing I was getting some pooling down by the fire extinguisher here, here of some water. Now at first I'm like freaking out Maybe I had a leak on the roof or something, so check that out. That wasn't the problem. Then I thought maybe because I installed the new steps here last summer, I thought maybe something to do with the new sill. It was forcing under, so that's kind of what I figured it might be. Um, anyway, I would put a shamwa down there to catch it. Then the other day, it was leaking, and I looked up, and right here I could see drips coming down very slowly so I guess this window is leaking the entrance door window it's kind of a frosted window I usually actually keep this uh, foil and because I don't like the light coming through it kind of reflects on my computer so anyway I'm going to tear that apart and we're going to see why it was leaking okay now I can really see what's going on you can see right there all that uh, dirt there where it had been dripping so I'm gonna looks like this just unscrews a bunch of screws around the outside frame and I should be able to pull it apart see what's going on in there okay here we go there's the problem pretty simple looks like the sealant in here has gotten really dry I think it's like a I'm just using a fuel tape it's just gotten dried out along there that's the outside frame it seals against the glass here's the frosted glass here so yeah it just seals against there so the water was pounding against it, it wasn't a huge a huge big drip but there was a drip Lucky enough, I just uh, recently bought some uh, butyl tape. This is Dicor BT butyl tape, 30 feet. Put that around the frame here. I'll show you. I didn't actually put it all in the hole. I just put it all around and kind of pressed it all in there. And I'll take a knife and uh, cut off any excess on the other side. All held together with these screws. Go through the other side. There we be. We have like little plastic things that hold the glass in place. You just put it in between those. Then when I screw it in, it'll suck it all together. Seal her up. Carefully tighten those up. Nice and tight, but not enough to strip them or crack the plastic. Good, looking good. Well, I think that'll do the trick. Won't take very long to test around here. I'm sure another storm will be around the around the corner soon, especially in spring here. I was gonna ask uh, anybody if they knew something I could coat this with. You see the door here starting to crack all over the place. Looks like the plastic is getting brittle cracking I guess with the temperature differential and I'm thinking maybe I could actually coat that with something some type of plastic paint or something that could go on there kind of I guess it's not doing anything bad it just looks bad it'd be nice to freshen it up with something anyway if anybody has any advice appreciate it until next time Ray from loveyourv.com cheers everyone